How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Wrecked Videos. Today we'll be taking a look at even more funny and embarrassing police moments. In Brazil, these two not so intelligent individuals thought they had pulled off a successful robbery and were celebrating while live streaming. Cheering and boasting about how they had gotten away, the guy in the back seat starts waving the gun around that they had used to commit the robbery. This went on for about 20 minutes before police actually found the live stream and decided to join them for their celebration. This man, who probably shouldn't expect a call from Harvard anytime soon, tried to steal a police motorcycle, but in doing so, he accidentally turns on the police siren. Then he surrenders, thinking that the police had already caught him. <laughs> Police were conducting an investigation at one store that had seen a high number of recent shoplifting cases. This man, a prolific shoplifter, was not aware that police were inside the building when he was spotted on CCTV stealing fridge products, placing them inside his coat and attempting to flee the scene. However, he got a nasty surprise when two officers arrived outside and arrested him before he could even leave the entrance. During a live police conference here in Australia, a drunk man appears out of the blue in the background while the cameras were rolling. With an open beer bottle in one hand, the man doesn't hesitate to join in on the conference. Yeah, second Bullshit! Yesterday, in Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, could you move? Guys? Guys. 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 This woman was arrested and placed in the front of a police car, which wasn't exactly the best idea because while the officers were talking, she hopped into the driver's seat, taking off in the officer's cruiser. What is she doing? David 136, suspect just stole my vehicle. A little while later, they managed to recover the vehicle after tracking her down and arresting her for the second time that same night. This will be tougher to steal. This is one of our updated hard to steal models. A would-be shoplifter walks to the cashier as if he's about to purchase alcohol when suddenly he makes a run for it. However, the cashier was too quick, managing to lock the doors, forcing the man to return the booze and leaving empty-handed in a walk of shame. This white pickup truck had performed an illegal U-turn, almost colliding with an oncoming vehicle. Imagine his surprise when the vehicle he almost collided with then began flashing red and blue lights. Staff members were watching this shoplifter browsing their store for about half an hour before the man, after picking out the clothes he wanted to steal, attempted to make a run for it without paying. But what he didn't know was that somebody had already locked the doors.
This person riding a motorbike was showing off in front of police by doing a wheelie when suddenly he lost his balance. Watching this, what I don't understand is why the person filming this with the camera on their helmet felt as if he also needed to record this using the camera on his phone. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Police in Kansas attempted a traffic stop on a vehicle that had turned out to be stolen. Realizing he was caught, the driver had taken off, but just like a scene out of The Fast and the Furious, they used what's known as a grappler to put a quick stop to this chase, apprehend the car thief, and retrieve the stolen car. In case you missed it, here's another example of police putting the grappler into action, this time stopping carjackers who had stolen a Camaro in Hollywood. It looks like Hollywood police are getting Hollywood looking technology. It's no secret that cops aren't always the good guys. Take these three constables in this next clip for example, who served an eviction notice and were instructed to clear the house when one of the officers accidentally activated their body cam and all three of them were caught stealing. Hold on. Hold on, don't come down here. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, we got some cocaine. Oh. Yeah, everything in here. Two. This can go in here. We set that box right. Yeah. We set that on that dresser. Yeah. What's this? Uh, a box. What's all this? Yeah. 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 Let's see what's in here. Oh. Ray Bans. Police were conducting a regular traffic stop when a woman driving by decided to interfere. Despite being told multiple times to move on, she refused to comply. An officer then pulled her over, arresting her and discovering that she had been driving while under the influence. You mind if I search you real quick? Yeah, no problem. Okay, step back over there. Okay, step, we're gonna step over here. Excuse me? Are you okay? Me or him? Yes, I'm, I'm okay, thank you. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're holding up traffic. Please go. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, you're interfering with all our traffic stop investigation, okay? You need to move on or you're else you're going to go to jail. You're going to give her a ticket? You might go to jail. Okay. You need to move on. Hey. Go. Go. Yeah, 
Tenth Ward. We'll get to that in a minute. Santa Rosa copy at Tenth Ward. One minute. I'll be at Boomerangs on a uh, blue Toyota. Go ahead and step out, ma'am. Have one for me. Go ahead and step out. Okay. Step out. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Excuse Turn me? around, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for interfering with our traffic stop investigation for obstructing. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. You interfered with our traffic stop, told you to go, and you kept wanting to sit there and, and yell. I did. Impeding Probably. traffic. So you're under arrest. Back over here. Excuse me? To my car. You can either walk to my car or I'm going to make you go to my car. To my car. No need to make this any harder than it is, man. Signal one? Probably. Yeah, I can smell it. Have a seat in my vehicle. She is slurring and everything else. Yeah. Are you hit something? Probably. This naked Australian man wearing nothing but a motorbike helmet ran up to a police van, opened the sliding door, and invited himself inside. Look at this punch. Look at this punch. Look at this During the Melbourne Cup, a major horse racing event here in Australia, this woman in blue, who had one too many drinks, asked the cameraman what it would take for her to get on the news. Jokingly, the cameraman told her to push over a cop who was busy talking on his phone, and to everyone's surprise, that's exactly what she did. Oh no! Oh! Oh! What did you do? No! What are you doing? What the This man speaking with an officer teased the cop after pretending to make a run for it. I'm not gonna... This man was being chased by a cop on foot and thought he could use parkour to escape. However, unfortunately for him, his parkour needed some work because the cop chasing him was just in too good of shape. Put your hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. You got a club? It's always good to see when the person doing the chase is in good shape. On average, they carry around 30 pounds of equipment, depending of course on what gear they have on them, but that didn't stop this cop from outperforming this parkour wannabe. It's a rush. <laughs> Police in Ohio were involved in a low speed chase of a person described as a drunk Amish guy. The man, passed out after drinking one too many Bud Lights, was too intoxicated to realize that he was in a chase, and the horse carrying him around had no intention of stopping. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Wake up! There's a Bud Light can sitting in there and he's passed clean out. That's what he did to me. He'll go home. The horse knows how to get home. I don't even know if this is my call. I, I found him outside Philly. <laughs> 418. He's eastbound on Bogue. B O G U E. We got a drunk Amish guy passed down the buggy. <laughs> Staley and Bogue Road. He just turned eastbound on Bogue 
And I yelled at the guy when he rode by, there's a Bud Light can sitting in the damn buggy. And I hit the side of the buggy and hollered at the guy, he's passed clean out, he slumped over. Hey, stop your horse. Stop your horse. Stop your horse. Get your horse. Grab your horse. Okay, grab the horse so it doesn't do any more damage, please. It's rammed it into my car already. Watch yourself, he's coming around to grab him. I don't want him backing up and... All right, get him over here. How old are you? I'm 21. 21. We well, for right now, until I can determine on who you are, let me see your hand. I'm gonna detain you. All right. All right. Yeah. I He's saw. Bleeding some of that. Bleeding? Yeah. Where? Okay. Yeah. All right. Come on. I got around him and had him stopped, mm -hmm. and he stopped in the road. Yeah. And then when I got out. He went to go around me and just rammed it right to, and he got busted his head and fell out in the damn ditch. What's up here, a pause? Good yeah, boy. About when you're sleeping. Was he sleeping? Oh, he's passed out cold. We're running the siren. I'm banging on the side of the buggy. There's beer in there. Okay. He's drunk as shit. There's beer still in there. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I wasn't home. I didn't know he was doing any of this. I had, he was stopped. He hasn't moved. I pulled mine up. He's, it's all over the back. Oh, shit, puke. maybe puke. I don't know. And I started walking around the corner of the car to grab the reins, and that's when he fucking took off. Dude, I would have stopped here, man. I... You couldn't catch him. Every time you get beside of him, he'd freaking speed up. On April 1st, South Australian police announced a new expansion to their police dog recruits, which they claim have been purposely targeted to provide a new range of dog operational capabilities known as the Small Area Urban Search and Guided Evacuation Dogs, or Sausage for short. <laughs> As you know, the Dog Operations Unit, we've used Labradors and Shepherds for many years quite successfully, but we've always felt there's been a bit of a gap in our capabilities, so we're really, really enthusiastic about announcing this new squad, the uh, small area urban search and guided evacuation dogs. And what this is going to do is really be able to give us a new element of what we can uh, you know, offer up the South Australian community. So, been really hard work lifting those 40 kilo shepherds, you know, especially above your head into uh, ceiling spaces and things like that. Because of the size of these guys, you know, we can chuck them into ceilings, up on top of cupboards, let them have a good look around there. Not only that, because they're, you know, obviously a little bit uh, challenged vertically, we can chuck them under cars, under covers and things like that. We're also going to be able to attach them to drones, which is, you know, that's really a game changer for us. You know, they're going to be able to be tactically deployed from that, you know, drop down into people's yards and things like that. We're really excited about it and we think it's going to be an absolute game changer. This news report from the 80s asked people how they felt about the new laws regarding driving under the influence. Any attempt to restrict drinking and driving here is viewed by some as downright undemocratic. It's kind of getting common this when a fella can't put in the hard day's work, put in 11, 12 hours a day, and then get in your truck and at least drink one or two beers. They're making it laws where you can't drink when you want to. You, can't, you have to wear a seatbelt when you're driving. And pretty soon we're going to be calm in this country. 
In 2016, two men on a joyride driving a blue Ford Mustang caught the attention of Fox News after they were spotted driving recklessly through the city of Los Angeles. The driver of the vehicle was a military trained tactical driver who was prematurely discharged only five months before this event had taken place. People are saying that this is one of the best car chases caught on camera because it has everything from dangerous to funny and even bizarre moments such as the TMZ tour bus interfering to try and put a stop to this chase. And um, we got two guys who've stolen a Ford Mustang. Ford Mustang. Thank you. Is it navy blue? I can't tell. I yeah, think it is. It yeah. Is. And it's and it was a beautiful car. You can see they've banged it up, but it is a beautiful car. Oh man! Now oh, that you know see, what? If now I that, that if I were that other car, I'd try to get out of the way. Now yeah. you are endangering, purposely endangering other people. Oh my goodness! You know, and the oh. police have to show such restraint when they're dealing with people like this, who are, they're actually thumbing their nose at basically everybody. Like we're gonna do whatever the heck we want. Oh man, how perfect! I know. We're gonna see this on TMZ. Oh, are they gonna stop it? Whoa! Yes. TMZ! They're stopping him! Oh my gosh! Oh man! And they're throwing, they're oh throwing God, trash at them. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh, that is. Oh, my that, gosh, that's so good. It doesn't get more Hollywood than that. Uh, when the TMZ tour bus slows the uh, the car chase. Driving, they've got the windshield wipers going. I mean, it's raining hard when you have is. the windshield wipers going that fast. And that's why. And the uh, top is down. They don't know how to put the top up so that they don't get wet. Right? I mean, these guys are idiots. I'm sorry, but they're idiots. Joy ride. Joy I mean, really, riding. There's no other way to define it other than a joy ride. In probably the most famous part of the Los Angeles area. Whoops, they almost hit that car. Which leads me to believe that this is all just for attention. Well, they've been on their cell phones. They're taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to cut this guy off. Echo Park neighborhood. Very hipster neighborhood. This is where all my cool friends live. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Now he's crossing over the Gore Point right now. Good Lord. Wow, what? this might be it. This might, well... This trumps Trump, right? It right does. now? Absolutely. I've been trying to determine... Oh, here we go. Here we go. We, uh -oh. got a, we got a cop down here. We got LAPD, and I don't know what they're going to do here. Oops. Run. Look at how many people jumped out of that... Oh, he's got a stop stick right now. Well... Oh, my goodness. Stop stick. There's, a, there's LAPD out of their vehicle here, this SUV with stop sticks, it appears. Now he's throwing them back in. Yeah. Hey, there's the suspect guy. You're missing an opportunity right <laughs> How now. How about run over? Oh, dear Lord. Is this lit? Did he literally get out to stop stick and he just missed the guy? Oh, jeez. Oh, this is the Now, thing. if they're going to do some donuts here, it's going to be a real... Do you think okay. their heart is, uh, hearts are beating like crazy right now because they're realizing it's slowly coming to an end? I don't know. I mean, it, you here we go. Here we there. go. We got a cop coming around the other side. Oh. They're going to... They're going to... What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come Hello? on. What, what are you doing? Hello? Come on. Hello from the other side. What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay. Um, are we being punked? Is Ashton Kutcher going to Could somebody off? have, could he have just come and, run and teed him off in the front? What do you call that when they kind of block him off? Well, that was the weirdest thing I ever saw. If I were the guy in front of him, I'd just hit my brakes and act like my car broke down. <laughs> Go, Sorry. This is the future of police chases under Bernie Sanders. Oh, geez. Yeah, let it. Let him just have fun. Like no, no. Just put the SUV in front of him, dude. Before you wreck yourself. Oh, oh Lord, my God. This, this is, is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wah, wah. Oh, this is off. This is really, I'm having a hard time. Oh, now they're flipping off the police. Oh, geez. Are you kidding? Well, that's what it looked like. I mean, it was one of these, Kinsey. Look, he, he does. It was one of these. Do you think he's talking to him? After all of these blunders and mayhem, like this incident where the cop fails to effectively use his spike strip, Bruh. Fox News then accidentally cuts off the live stream, leaving everybody confused as to what they were even looking at. Are you seeing the, the vehicle here? Uh-oh. No, what is what? happening? Hello? Did LAPD... Hi, can, we, can we have our car chase back? Okay, we've got this white car behind him. We don't know if it's undercover, but it sure is following closely. Maybe it's just somebody who's a Yahoo who wants to kind of, you know, be part of the story. Right. Okay, but, if we yeah, do a pit okay. maneuver here, we know it's undercover. But they can't, they cannot be too aggressive. Are here. they just I talking to him? I don't think that those guys that have seatbelts. Wow, on. what is this? Is this an undercover cop or is this just a passerby? Street. People talking to him?
Eventually, the men in the blue Mustang I guess had their fun because after not being stopped by police, they decided to simply pull over and start taking pictures with some of the locals. Unbelievable. <laughs> Did we just... Sitting on the... I mean... <sighs> Un friggin believable you gotta is, be kidding me is that me. his mic drop is that what that was <laughs> Risking people's lives. All right, it looks like the LA sheriffs are staging. You can see a cop right here. Look at how proud he is. Okay, now Look at how is proud he, he is, is. The, is the cop videotaping this? It looks like okay, he's been arrested. So does this make him a hero? I mean, look at that girl. She's like, I don't want any of it. Okay, he's being arrested, and they're showing a, a lot of restraint. Good. Okay, get out of the car, dude. Hands behind your back. Wow, I, yeah, I, I hope you're proud of yourself. I know. This woman who was pulled over by police was instructed to lift up a jacket so that an officer could confirm that she didn't have any weapons. But apparently instructions weren't clear because instead she ended up doing this. Okay. Oh, you have to open my door for me. That's fine. Thank you. No worries. You got any weapons on anything like that? No. You do me a favor and just lift up real quick. No, no, oh, no, yeah. just oh. a jacket. Oh. Turn around. Okay, you can come this way. Mm. You can step over here with me. Oh. No, no, oh, no, yeah. just oh. a jacket. Oh. Turn around. Police responded to a call after a squirrel had broken into someone's home, turned on the radio, and began eating cookies in their kitchen. Can we turn the music down here? I'm going to turn your radio. The squirrel turned it on? Three. Oh! This man wasn't happy after police had issued him a ticket for not wearing his seatbelt. The man, with his wife in the car, tries to convince them that he in fact did have it on, but his attempt to convince the cops otherwise fails since the officers noticed that he put it on after being pulled over. The man then begins to get visibly upset, asking them things such as whether they planned on killing him and his wife. Southbound G on ramp. WRTs with the Racine County Sheriff's Office up because your seatbelt isn't on, and we're actually out. You put it on when we're pulling it behind you. I watched you. That's not true. And he your looked body was here. boiling forward, sir, when you took the turn on. I watched you put it on. We're not going to argue about a $10 seatbelt ticket. Hey, it's right here. Okay. Driver's license and insurance, okay? I'm not giving you enough. This is not. Driver's really license and insurance, sir. You're going to make this more difficult than it has to be. Your driver's license and insurance, sir. Do you see this? Sir, do you want to be forced to remove me? You were not wearing a seatbelt. That's not true. I have this on. Driver's license and insurance, sir. Are you planning on calling us today? No, we're not going to kill you, okay? I, I'm an American. I have my seatbelt. Oh, that's great to know, okay? You were not wearing a seatbelt when you drove past me. We saw you putting it on while we were behind you. You can argue this all day long and no, make this even worse for yourself. Otherwise, just give us this, the, your ID and the insurance, sir. What do you want, my mom? Now that he's realized he can't convince the cops that he had a seatbelt on, he then tries sweet-talking them by complimenting their sunglasses. Driver's license and insurance, sir. You're making a big driver's license and insurance, sir. You're making a bigger deal out of this than it has to be. For my seatbelt? Yes. Had? Yep. Why? Well, I have my seatbelt. You have a traffic on. violation. Your seatbelt was not on, sir. So can you have your driver's license and insurance? With your body camera, I have my seatbelt on. The oh, wrong, right? The driver, beginning to realize that he can't wriggle his way out of this, after complimenting the cop's sunglasses, begins breaking his own. And what started as a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt, begins to get more costly after the man, out of frustration like a toddler not getting their way, begins ripping apart his own money. Because I watched you put him on, sir. Now please put him on or I'm going to ask you to step out of the vehicle. And when I do so, that's a lawful order. 
And if I have to, I can forcefully remove you from the vehicle, sir. All right? I broke my glasses. You like that? Yeah. $150 fucking glasses. Well, that's your problem. Okay, you're acting like a child right now. my money? Here. You're acting like a child. I want your driver's license and your insurance. Here's everything I have. Here's my money. Here's my you're money. acting like a child, sir. Here's my card. Here's everything. Your driver's license, sir. Hand Take it to me. Money. Take my money. Take this too. Take that Your driver's license, sir. You're just destroying all my stuff. You're ruining my holiday. Yeah. You should be a son that I'm doing. You... Ripping up the money. I spent $500 on my family. That's great. Huh? Driver's license, money? sir. Nothing. Are you are you intoxicated, sir? Bullshit. What kind of drugs are you on, sir? Well, here, here's a, you need this too. We'll just rip that up too. What kind of drugs are you on, sir? Your driver's Bullshit. license. Go get it. Take it. Take whatever you want. I'm not going want. into take, your vehicle, take sir. My, take my Can I have your driver's line. license, please? We'll rip all this up too. Got nothing down. Here, take this. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, so you can take so, my money. So you can take my money. Remain in the vehicle, sir. I'll be back take up with money. you, okay? Look, I have my seatbelt on. You take my fucking money. That's bullshit. My seatbelt's on and they're accusing me of something. That's bullshit. You can't ever enjoy life anymore around here without being harassed and accused of something. I have my fucking seatbelt on. You give me a ticket, you pulled up on me, I have my seatbelt on. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah, I have $35 fucking glass, man. Break it. I will just fucking start dumping on my blood right now and give him that too. It's the situation. This dude's freaking out because we stopped him for a seatbelt and he put it on when we were behind him. Like literally freaking out. He's tearing up money and he's, he's freaking out. So if you just want to go up there with him while I run him out real quick and issue him this citation. <laughs> freaking out. Seriously. Because I have my seatbelt on. These people pull me over and they pull up on me and say I don't have my seatbelt on. It's right here. I can see it. I can taste it. Do you realize how you're acting right now? Irrational. It's upsetting to me. Or upsetting to you that you drove past me without a seatbelt. That's a crock of bullshit. Okay. Didn't okay. you know that? Don't, okay. don't give me that. Okay. Yeah, he's tearing up cash in his car and throwing it all over the place. I have my seatbelt on, and you're giving me a ticket for my seatbelt being on. I have your seatbelt on. My seatbelt's on. You give me a ticket. You're taking my goddamn thing. You're giving me a ticket for my damn seatbelt on. You do not have a seatbelt on. My seatbelt is on. When you pull up to a stop, my seatbelt is on. It was not on. It, it was, was on, on when we pulled up because you put it on, on when you got on the intersection. <laughs> That's not true. Oh my god. That's not true. My seatbelt's on. You're delusional. My seatbelt is on. You pull up to the traffic stop. Well, yeah, you had it on. Me, my seatbelt is on. Hey, let me ask you something. So if I drive past you, right, and I don't have my seatbelt on, and then you get behind me and I put my seatbelt on, does that mean you That's have it on? That's not true. I'm not making guilt of anything. My seatbelt okay, is you're on. You're not going to miss any guilt. I saw you me. do it. I can't afford a fucking ten dollar seatbelt ticket for no reason. Well, you could have afforded it, but you ripped your money up. Those cash seats are up. Ten bucks. Yeah, he Five had like bucks? a bunch of singles and stuff. He, he freaked out. I thought I was going to have to drag him out of the car. You have to pay honor before the court date. If you choose to pay, you pay online, in person, or by mail. Information on the bottom of the citation as well as on the bond envelope, which is self-explanatory. Okay? Do you have any questions? No. All right. Make sure you're buckled up before you leave next time, sir. All right. Be safe. You got good eyes. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. This moment resembled a scene out of Star Wars after an officer stopped someone on a bike by using the force. And this moment was like a scene from a low budget porno. This sleeping beauty had a warrant out for his arrest. Police find him and after messing with him a little, he eventually wakes up. One of the officers telling him, I told you I was gonna go after you, didn't I? And now you will be sleeping in prison. Forget about police brutality, this is police tenderly. <laughs> Desculpa atrapalhar o seu sono ali, tá? Que a gente vai te conduzir até a delegacia. Eu falei que ia voltar, você lembra? Que Isso. o próximo era você? Essa moral aí. Devagar, Peixoto. Devagar pra ele não se machucar. Você tá preso. Você tá preso, você vai pra cadeia. Essa moral aí. Tá? Moral? Moral? Sem machucar ele, Peixoto. Sem machucar. Tô lá no tato, tá? o café da manhã dele. Vai ser lá em Bangu, tá? Teu café da manhã. Vambora.
derrubando, hein, Zé? Derrubando, This officer had to confront a cow that had escaped and gone rogue, who also seemed to have a hatred for people's mailboxes. The officer even tries communicating with the animal by speaking its own language. <coughs> I'm just standing by. That's all. <laughs> Okay, she's busy assaulting a mailbox right now. <laughs> yep. Moo! Moo cow! Here's a funny clip that also shows how police in Finland have a very different attitude than their US counterparts. Finnish police received a report after someone had complained about a sexual act happening in public. Jokingly, the officers ask why anyone would report such a thing instead of watching, and when they arrive on the scene, the people in question claim they were only kissing, and one of the officers responded by asking if they kissed their quote unquote pee pee as well. <laughs> Snellmanin puistossa olisi tuossa suihiottomenossa siinä suihkulähteen kohdalla. No Miten elää. joku kehtoo ilmoittaa? Kaattelis perkelee ja vetelis niin. kätteen saatana. Ja puiju 720 kohtes. Terve! Soppiko jos tulette käymään tässä vähän? Ihmiset soittelee, että työ ottaa toisilta no poskeen tässä. Ei kai se Ei oikeasti Sulla oli mu että ota. Ei. Ei, ei kannata. Ei kannata, ei oikeasti. Tai hyvähän se tekee, mutta niin joku parempi paikka. Ei. Pussailtu on kyllä. Pussailtu. 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 Onko pussailtu pippelinkin? No, ei, ei ole. Ei ole pippelin pussailtu. No hyvä. Ei, ei, no niin. No, no, ei. Kirkko, 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 ei. Kirkko virsi. Ei ole. No, ei ei kirkko virsi. Ei muuta kuin rauhallista illan jatkoa. Kiitoksia. No, hyvä. Näkemiin. Veikka, mitä sä oot vähän latistaa tunnelmaa, kun tuu. Niin, en tiedä. En tiedä, mutta tuota, eihän tässä ketään muita ole. Eihän noilla oli hyvä meininki, ei Nein. mitään. Se on pusselu pippi. Sillä, katso pitää kysyä. No eikö se ollut nätisti kysyttyä? Oh. Sillä tuo halventamatta kenenkään. Mm. Ihmisyys. No niin. Suoritetaan tämmöstä mä, että annettu suullinen huomautus. <laughs> this is an interesting clip with an almost X-Files type feel to it. After an officer claimed to have seen something fall from the sky, they received a report from civilians claiming they had seen 10 foot tall alien-like creatures with glowing eyes. Curious, the officer actually takes this report seriously and decides to investigate. They said they saw some fall from the sky, they checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green green colored men uh not human with uh like the eyes were glowing and they did not it was not a human being so. did you see it huh? did you see it yeah me and him side what'd you see it was like a it was like a big creature a big creature yeah like around 10 feet tall because i'm not going to bs you guys one of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too so that's yeah. why i'm kind of curious did you good. see anything good. land see. in your backyard or they see like a big that's what they say they see like a big uh like a big i see a cat over there <laughs> do you have cameras Did you see it? No. I'm kind of curious now. I want to. I want to know if there's aliens. I was with the iPhone. I said, let me. I, I want to. It was like very big. Like like where did you? Where did they go? Well, they said that. I'm gonna show you. Do you have a dirt backyard? Can you yeah, show me if there's a? Uh... And I'm sorry. Did you see them go anywhere? No, you didn't. You saw, did they probably go that way? <clears throat> hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, 
But did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Yeah. We got a call, and one of my partners actually said that they saw it too. So, if you happen to see any, uh, like I'm not BSing you, if you see any, footage? no, like if you see any, like little, well, not there, little in this couple, case. Um, they're, they're claiming uh, eight to nine foot tall green beings that were in their backyard. Sounds crazy, but you never know. Uh, the, your neighbors, your fine neighbors over here. Uh, but again, I would normally discount it as probably not These real. Neighbors right here? Yes. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. So if you guys see anything, especially in your backyard, please call 911. We'll come over, okay? All we just, right. it might, right. and we're hoping that it's maybe just some kids pranking or doing something stupid. They said they saw some fall from the sky. They checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green, green colored men, uh, not human, with uh, like the eyes were glowing and they did not, it was not a human being. So, yeah. Uh, just, um, what's up? Yeah, there's multiple people in this home. So, we already checked. Huh? Uh, more than one. So if you see anything, just uh, give us a call, okay? Disappointed that the officer didn't get to see aliens, they jokingly tell the witnesses that if they encounter the creatures again, do not call the police, and that instead, they would be on their own. All right, man. We man. appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see I wanted to find some aliens. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, if those nine-foot beings come back into your backyard, you call the police and we'll come back here, okay? No, other, somebody, 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 those, those yeah. Like, things come back. Don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> somebody call NASA. Tell them stop it. I'll try and buy a way with you guys. You're on your own, bro. All right, take care, guys. Have a good one. All right, Slim. Let's just regroup over here, okay? Yeah. Take a look at all this traffic in Houston, Texas. You might be wondering what caused all of this. Well, a woman dancing naked on top of an 18-wheeler, of course. She caused traffic to stop for over two hours after refusing to climb down. Eventually, police were able to arrest her, taking her to hospital for mental evaluation. How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Wrecked Videos. Before we begin, I'd like to announce that anyone who likes today's video will receive their very own ball and chain. But if you are married, then don't worry because that means you already have one. An Arkansas State Police trooper pulled over this Karen after she was caught speeding. The smell of alcohol was obvious to the trooper, so he conducts a field sobriety test, which only helps confirm his suspicion that she is under the influence. He then brings out his breathalyzer that she thinks is a weapon, and if things weren't bad enough, she then proceeds to start taking a big steamy shit on the side of the road. Blow till this thing clicks. You'll hear it click, an audible click. All right, big, big blow. Blow. What's that? It's a PBT, portable breath test. Huh? It's a portable breath test. Big deep breath. my keys? They're on top of your vehicle. Where? On top of your vehicle. You're big deep breath. No, I'm not shooting you. This is a PBT. I have to go. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Wait. Me. I'm going to take I'm... you to jail to test you for the DWI. I have to do it, sir. Well, you'll have to wait till we get to the jail. Wait, I, I mean, it's, I have to shit on my pants. Well, you'll have to. I need to get. No, 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 no. I'm turn around. Poop your, right no, here turn around. Door. I have turn to around. Can I have a piece of paper? No, ma'am, you cannot. You'll have to pull your pants up. Pull your pants up. I have to. Pull your pants up. Pull your pants up. Don't step uh, in it. You're making me. Ma'am, stop. Ma'am, put your hands behind your back. What are you doing? But I'm taking you to. Wait, stop. Yeah. Get out of the traffic lane. Spit him out! Behind your back. No! Stay in the vehicle! Stop! Don't Block shoot! What are you doing? Help. You're... Give me some help. Stop! Ma'am, put your hands behind Drop your back. It. Put your hands behind you your back. You just made me... Stop! Ma'am. Stop it! I'll pay you right here. How are you going to get out of the vehicle? I'm going to pay you. Stay in the vehicle. I got him. Ma'am, I'll pay you. Put, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Okay. 
Get on the ground can I put right my now. Pants up? Yes, ma'am. But when I get you, okay, let me go. you get on the ground. Can I put my pants up? Get, get on the ground. I'm going to take you. Uh, you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. What's the story on this? Stop her for speeding. She hit the shoulder immediately. She's going 96 or 7. I can't remember. Anyway, kind of been busy since then. She hit the shoulder. Walked up there, could smell alcohol after her driver's license. She was telling me she was on her way to Kansas from Tennessee, and I was like, you do realize you're going toward Tennessee. She's like, no, we're going to Memphis, and so I come back around her. She was good. I went back up there, pulled her out. I said, ma'am, I can smell alcohol in the vehicle. I can smell a bit of alcohol on you. Have you had anything to drink? She's like, no. So I, where is he? He, they already took him to jail. Just to have him sit in the lobby. Yeah. One leg stand was like this. HGN was horrible. Went and got my PVT. Yeah, exactly. He's like, are you going to shoot me? You're going to shoot me? And I was like, man, it's a PVT. Just blow through that tube. And she's like, I got a PVT. Yeah, got a PVT. Pants up and down. There it is. Can I have some paper? I said, no, ma'am, you cannot have paper. Put your hands behind your back. I'll pull your pants up when you get done. And that's when the wrestling match started. How much have you had to drink tonight? Not a lot. Not a lot? All right. You have a license on you? Do you have pants or something that you can put on? Okay. Well, ma'am, put pull pull that down. All okay. right. I didn't ask you to do that. All right. Okay. okay. I'll pull up a... Do you have pants that you can put on? No. Okay. All right. We're gonna step over here for me. Yeah, What's that? You put some pants on. Police were led on a wild chase after someone had stolen a white Ford pickup with a trailer. Police successfully laid down spike strips, however it wasn't for another two miles before the truck lost a wheel. The suspect then attempted to flee on foot, but what nobody suspected was that the thief was a female who was completely naked. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! It's Officer Yao. You okay? Ethan, what's going on? Ethan. It's suicidal. Hey, hey, hey. What's... There's feces everywhere. I need you to call the cops and paramedics to get me a rescue team right now. Ethan, it's Officer Yao from Thornton Police. Yes, come in here and get me to the hospital. What, what, what's going on? I have a asshole that's bleeding out like a chicken. Do you have any weapons on you right now? Yeah, let's go. Hey, what do you got? My dick in my hand. Police received a strange report that someone had been stuck inside a manhole for three hours. Excuse me, I read that wrong. He had actually been down there for three entire days. Holy shit. Hey buddy, what's your name? Fisherman noticed the manhole was uncovered and when asked why he was down there, police learnt that the man had been trying to find God. Hey bud, talk to me, what's your name? He said I can't understand you. Yeah, you can. Look at his tools over there. What's he doing? Uh, I don't know. What's your name, bud? bud. That's what we thought we didn't know. Shit, what kind of shape? With no vehicles around in the woods, there's a couple of tools. Around. Yeah. Well, here's it was. Something's weird. Yeah. What brought you guys over here? I was fishing. And I seen the lid open and I walked past and I heard somebody, it's like a moan and I looked down and I'm like, dude, are you all right? And I didn't see no ladder and that's when he hurried up and called you guys. So. How long you been down there, bud? He told us three days. Three and a half days? Sure. I'm not even, I don't put it, but I'll get that wool blanket out and I'll get underneath it. You think yourself will get in your car, like. Yeah, what the hell am I Don't you have a report that you have to do? Right.
Hey, hey, it's about to, got, got to get real tight in here, boys. You said about to get real tight. We're about to really get to know each other. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna I mean, like, what am I doing out there in the rain? I mean, I can't do nothing. Uh, go, go get in the car. Get, get in your car. Uh, no, don't get wet, dude. We're going to be here a while. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're going to be here. Yeah. They got to go get rescued. They got to set up tripods and everything to get him out. Okay. Are you gentlemen? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. All right, man. We'll wait this out for it's literally supposed to rain for like 15 minutes today, and it would be right now. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go off. Huh? Yeah, get in your car! Stop recording. Unfortunately for the man in the hole, it started to rain, so police had to abandon the mission, and to this day, he is still down there. Okay, I'm kidding, they eventually did rescue him, but whether or not he found God still remains a mystery. <laughs> A woman was hunted down by an officer and his dog after she had poisoned her boyfriend using Raid cockroach spray which she had put onto something he was drinking. Veronica Klein, the psycho bitch whose name I'm sure I will remove before uploading to YouTube, was held in jail without bond facing a charge of poisoning with intent to kill. The boyfriend said she had told him what she had used to poison his drink and that she also wanted to do the same to their daughter. Let's do it now! Show me your f***ing hands! Park it! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Do it now! Hands up! Put your hands up! Show me your hands! Walk towards me now! Walk towards me! Walk towards me! Stop! Stop right there! Get on your knees! Stay right there! Right here! Watch her, girl. Watch her. Yeah, we'll just hold the air until you're done. Do not move. You're good. Out of you, boy. Good soup, buddy. Good boy. That a good dog. Way to find out, Batman. Good boy. Out of good dog. Good soup, buddy. Good boy. Good soup. Did he bite you anywhere? Um. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab it. Walk out there, there. Lux, good boy. I did good boy. Good boy. Gotcha, bitch. Good boy, that a good boy. The police officer seen in this clip was suspended for 20 days without pay following an investigation into this incident, where after arresting a couple, he allowed them to make out for hours in the backseat of his vehicle. Not only that, but he even let them smoke while he started DJing, playing songs such as Tenacious D's F Her Gently. 10, 12, one adult male, one adult female, 51 to the rock, starting at 559. Make it real fast. Do you still have the lighter? Double double check your pockets, because I never got it back. Because I went inside as soon as you were lighting up. You also can't take it in, so. Should we get out and smoke now? No, just smoke in the car. They won't let you smoke out. Oh, in the car? Yeah, they won't let you smoke in this sally port. Okay. We didn't need that. We didn't light it because we think you were allowed to smoke in here. You're really not, but it's fine. quite a bit of leeway so far, but I have to draw the line shy of that. What's going on? I hear the back of you making babies.
Backpack, I put all the paper. You want both of them back in? Scoot over. Yay! And the only reason I do the bond mounts is because. I've dealt with so many people so many times with this. I used to work at Walmart before I came here. What do you guys think? Did he deserve to be suspended? Let us know in the comments down below. In Idaho, a police officer was flagged down by a woman who said her daughter-in-law was in labor and about to give birth. She said they had just returned from the hospital but was sent home. And just like our previous clip, police also played music, but this time it was Slayer's Raining Blood. You feel for heads coming out? Every time it's, I, have, I have to. I mean, like with your hands, can you can you feel her head at all? No, but I feel like okay. I need to push. I can feel her I'm, head. I am not a doctor. I can. I have no idea when it's time to push or not. But. <sighs> Nope, wait, I just realized this entire clip sounds like porn, and I know some of you watching probably aren't using headphones, so I'm going to replace the groaning with other realistic sounds that might take place during childbearing. Uh, where's the, where's the dad? Is he here, or is he? No. no okay. I, I don't know what to do, ma'am. I, I don't see it. I don't see her head. Are you able to feel her head right there? I can feel her head right I'm, there. With your hand, like her hand actually, her head actually there. Yes. I need some help, please. I, I don't. I don't know what to do to help you, ma'am. I don't. No, we go in. We kill. No more talk. We kill. Soon, my dog of war. But we have to do it my way. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, Mom. She's here. Congratulations. We're coming, I can hear the sound. Deputies in New Mexico responded to reports of a naked man behaving erratically, claiming to have been poisoned. Now, I don't want to scare anyone, but I think the Terminators might have finally arrived. Hey! The naked man manages to steal the deputy's car, and as he drives away, can be heard using the police radio. Okay, get back over here. Let's get on the grass, okay? Help! Okay, Help. that's my car. No one's in there. Okay? Help. What? How, how are you poisoned? Ouch. How, how are you poisoned? Sir? Sir? Hey! Get out of there! Hey! <laughs> 47 PD, he's stolen my unit. He's taken off uh, eastbound on Yano in my unit. Running lights. Passing him okay now. Is he taking your unit? Yes, he took my unit. He's heading south on MLK. I need help. This officer didn't want to help me. I'm poisoned. That's why I brought the 
In Charlotte County, Florida, sheriff's deputies responded to a report of someone having a disturbance with their neighbor. They were advised that the suspect was being loud and disruptive by screaming into the window of his house. He also stated that the suspect was outside naked at 4 o'clock in the morning. If any of you watching would like to switch neighbors with this guy, let us know in the comments. I don't got no pants on. Let me get some pants on. Man. You know what? This f***ing guy left the f***ing pond here, so I dug the hole, I put it in, and then these two Leslie's came here today, and they tried to f*** with me. And they took the pond, and they told me to go f*** myself and shot me the bird. And I ain't dealing with it like that. My wife can't get out of jail because... Because she keeps breaking the order of the judge. And I told her not to call me or, you know, she got a no contact order. Mm -hmm. This fucking guy keeps fucking around. And I don't know what to do. And I got some fucking crazy ass over there fucking with me too. Some lady that keeps calling the Humane Society and that keeps coming here. Yet they won't take the pets, you know, and that's what I'm doing. So what's going I on tonight? I paid the rent. I fucking did what I was supposed to do. What? So what are we doing at 4:30 in the morning here? I don't know, cause it is fucking idiot. Well, what's going yeah, on with this guy? Outside. I don't know. He's a fucking moron. Probably a child molester, whatever. I don't even really know about him. Well. But then All what brings I know you, is he's weird. Then what brings you outside in the nude yelling at 4.30 in the morning then? I'm curious. Because this motherfucker. And what did he do, again, for you to come outside at 4.30 in the morning, no pants on, start yelling and screaming? What did he do? All right. So he had two lesbian girls come here today and try to take my stuff. You know, I guess they tried to help him with his pond or whatever. I don't know. Um, then there was that. Then that. Then he told me to shut my fucking mouth, which is the last thing you should do with a guy like me. And then he says, I'm trying to get some sleep, and it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and I don't sleep, you know. And yeah, I don't take no. And I'm fucking in there painting this house, getting it right. And fucking, I want my wife to get out. She didn't get out. I'm frustrated. But, you know, I ain't asking for nothing. I ain't asking for nothing, bro. What's up? Nothing, bro. All right. I'm just... You want to figure it out? I just told you. This guy's a fucking moron. He's got two lesbians that came in my fucking yard yesterday and dug up a pond that I installed. And we came out for that yesterday. After explaining to police the trouble he was having with two lesbians and a pond, as well as him trying to paint his house at four in the morning, police then speak to the neighbor who made the complaint to get his side of the story. Hello. How you doing? Did you I, call? Yes. What did he do tonight? Well, uh, not only does he kept me up for hours, and his renovating is not supposed to, pounding on the wall all night long, but he's been doing it for the past four nights or five nights. Nothing but constant threats, like all night long. But this is what it, it sounds like all night long. Yeah. For like three, it's, it's ridiculous. Three, four days in a row. Was he totally naked? He was totally naked. Misdemeanor exception. Yeah. Hmm. Can we get a statement from him? Yeah. This guy next door to me. John, there's nothing to finish, man. Go inside. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. As long as you put right. pants on and go inside, we're good. I didn't have no pants on. Pants I know. Tonight. It's I'm, tragic. I, I'm, 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 I'm we got, apologize. He was totally we naked. And we got social right, sex organs, disorderly conduct. Do. We could go with tampering right, with, you tonight, for tampering with a witness. All right, John. Take care, man. <laughs> John, come back out here real quick, man. We gotta talk to you. Still got pants on? No. No. Can you put pants on? You're not gonna jack me, are you? I'm not gonna what? I mean, I'll pick it up. I'm out here 
fucking trying to make this work. Okay. I can't even take a fucking shower. My shit's up to my ankles. Great. So now what's up? Come here. Really? Turn around. No. Turn around. John. For no. what? Turn around. What's the charge? Turn around. You're under arrest. For what? Turn around. Last chance. Turn around. So it's tense up. <laughs> I'm about it. You're about it? I have to be. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm arrested. What is the charge? John, you're being charged with exposure, sexual organ, disorderly conduct. Do you understand that? You can't be running around outside with no clothes on. Why? Well, I had my shirt on. No, no, that was when we were here. You knocked on the door. That was when we were here, not before be that. You were standing outside, man. When we first got here, you were standing outside. Oh, my God. I am totally freaked out by the whole deal. Do you think so? Let's get it done. Man. Stand back. Oh, Listen, Listen, yeah. I'm trying to do this. <laughs> He's transporting. So what? Hey, listen, I can appreciate you, motherfucker, because you're the biggest guy here. Okay. I normally wouldn't let you arrest me, and you know that. No, I, I, don't I can't know that. take you on. Fuck. You kick my fucking ass. <laughs> so let's do it. Now, hey, wait a minute. Stop. No, officers. There's all those pets in the house, and my wife's not going to get out of jail. Okay. So, and I don't think I can bond out again. All right, so do we need to call animal control? Absolutely. How many dogs are in there? Three dogs, a cat, and a bird. You got the bird back? No, I, I have two birds. I, that bird, my wife's been taking care of. But I, my parrot is that what about, the other uh, guy. What about your, your wife's brother? Can you come take care of the animals? He said he can't. That's what, no, I mean, I'm freaking out over here. Well, you do stuff like this outside at, at 4 o'clock in the morning, what do you expect to happen? Listen, I'm going to tell you right the f now. I tell you, can we write the f now inside the, inside the car? Get the birds, get the dogs, get the cat, and just handle it. Right, I can't handle it. Come on. Come on. Hey, princess, I'm sorry. I'll forgive you. <laughs> Joel Sanchez Delgado was wheelchair bound as he was being escorted by a sheriff's deputy to court, facing multiple charges including residential burglary and theft of services. Prior to his court date and during his arrest, he claimed to have been injured and unable to walk, fooling the sheriff's deputy and allowing him to make an unexpected getaway. Well, Okay, maybe then your gas will say it's hurting, maybe you can get out for it. What you say, OJ? My suit. Hey, you see a shoe back there? Where is it? Hey, can you call the police for me? Call the police for me. Hey, call the police. Call the police. Which way it go? This way? Now, nah, which way it go? Right through the alley, cut that way. What's your phone? My damn radio came out. Hold on.
Dude, red, man. Yeah, we're going to radio. Yes, he did. Dude, red. Yeah, yeah. What? He took it yeah. off? Yeah, ride straight up this street. Who took off? Yeah, the wheelchair took yeah. <laughs> I don't need the land. Oh. Are you hey. fucking around right now? You turn, yeah. you turn. They say it went that way. But go straight one. Hold up, hold up. We can't say some with inmates. I can get off. <laughs> <laughs> this dang light turn. 272 day transport. Hold on. Tell us all, man. I already told Oh. See, my radio head came off in here. We go. Another dang light took you forever. Nah, he gone. I couldn't. I, he was, there was nothing wrong with it. He had a crank tire. You couldn't catch him. He didn't have none of that on when he ran. No, he took it off and was gone. Yes. The feds. We can't go that way anyway. Drop the feds off. Or with his head locked up. <laughs> the dude. What's up? We can't go that way. I couldn't catch that dude. He jumped the rail. <laughs> <laughs> It's on my camera, bro. Oh, what's that, uh, man? Hey. <laughs> he dropped the real kick. This, uh, his shoe head came off. I've been down to get his shoe. He just ran. He took off all the way. Yeah. Should have had curved him to the wheelchair. <laughs> Neighbours had called police after saying that two people had been roaming the neighbourhood looking into other people's cars. Police find a man inside a garage who convinces them that he lives there, but little do they know the person they're speaking to is actually one of the suspects, who of course was in the middle of burglarising someone's home. It's 3 in the morning and while this is happening, the real residents are asleep inside. They ask the man if he has any identification, at which point he says it's inside. Police wait for a few minutes before realising that the man wasn't coming back. The crazy part about this video isn't just that he managed to escape, but the following night the same suspect returned to the scene and stole the white truck. Wesley Anderson had outstanding warrants for his arrest, but upon his arrest he insisted that he required medical attention. So medics then drive him to the hospital, but after that is where things begin to get interesting. After his visit to the hospital, officers begin to transport him to the local county jail, and this is where, pun intended, shit starts to go down. I don't want you to take a crap here. I really don't. I no, don't. No, I'm gonna put the ground. No, I have that sis. Did you leave it down or up? Because you're gonna have to beat it up anyway, so. You're leaving down or up? Dude, like I said, we would have been halfway to the gym. Hey, hey come up or down? Right. Up or down? You think? Up? up. up. You sure? Yeah. Okay. 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 Turn. Up, up higher? Turn around. Turn around, Faith. Okay. Yeah, right. We're gonna put it. We're gonna. We're gonna. Come on, 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 what, wait one mile. Why are you fucking shit? Come on. Hey, I'm asking. Give me some of the white mask. Give me some of the white mask. Fuck my ass. Come on. Give me some of the white mask with that turn taken off my ass. Come on. Give me that fucking glove. Give me that fucking glove so I can wipe my asshole. Do you have keys on you? Give me the fucking watch glove. It. Hold on. Hold on. Watch it, Chris. Right here. Get out of the car. Do it over here. Right. Huh? Does their PC provide a mouth off? 10 9. God, you provide a mile marker. Fuck you. What did you do? 10-9? <laughs> you have a mile marker. Oh. Come, Come on, man. Huh? You want to hurt? Huh? Open my pants. Put my pants up, dude. Okay, did you see that? Are you kidding me? Yes or no? Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. Put my hands up. Bro, let you. me do it first. I got it. Relax. Oh, dude, please, get that shit out so I can get in the car. Huh? Fucking kill me, dude. Hold on. Come 
in there. Huh? I'm not going back in this shit. I'm not going to sit in the shit. Clean the shit out. Right? I ain't cleaning this shit out. Cool. I don't want to either. Okay. Turn around and face the ball. Come on. Do it clean. Just chill out, okay? I chill out, man. Okay. Chill out. I can't. I'm in handcuffs. Get too much. Yeah. Taser deployed. Suspect is going southbound in traffic. Wesley Anderson has successfully escaped from police custody basically by doing the old look over there move. And while police fell for one of the oldest tricks in the book, Mr. Anderson somehow managed to steal a car and make a getaway. The officers then had to explain to their superior how they let a man get away because they thought he needed to take a shit. So, he was playing, I gotta piss, I gotta piss right before it's time to go. So we let him piss, and then it, then it was, uh, oh I got chest pains, I got chest pains. We're like, dude, they want a shit. You're yeah. good. So then it was, the doctor's gonna humor him. A reckless driver who left police on a high-speed chase managed to escape after he suddenly stopped his vehicle, jumped over a guardrail and disappeared into a side channel, taking him underground and out of sight where police decide not to follow him in. Las Vegas police owned up to an embarrassing mistake when they left the suspected murderer unmonitored and he escaped. He managed to break free of his handcuffs, twisting them until they snapped. An officer briefly returned but didn't notice, allowing him to climb into the ceiling and escape the building unnoticed. Now, I couldn't finish this video without this last clip. It's old, but it's definitely gold, as it's possibly the most infamous moment of when a man fools police caught on tape. A murderer known for repeatedly escaping prison managed to evade capture on one attempt by convincing a police officer that he was a jogger. The man being questioned by police accidentally gave the officer two different names, Robert Jones and Jimmy Jones. Despite this, he still managed to sweet talk the cop into letting him go. You, you live around here, boy? No. Where you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's I your name? Know. Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh-huh. I'm not supposed to be on the track. No, that's not the problem right now. Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. Roofing. Roofing? Yep. Okay. For my brother. All right. <sighs> Um, what it is, we got an escapee. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where from? Uh, a prison. There's a prison here? Yeah. Huh. Man, it's hot. Hey, this Carl. Subject wear glasses?
Nothing but glasses. Can you find out? I'm out with a white male on the tracks at uh, Gilly Williams. He was on my little brother. <laughs> We're about. Take your glove off. Any tattoos or anything? Oh. Look it over. No, no, I'm just. No, nah, he's clean. Oh, I know. He's 50 years old. <laughs> how old is your guy? You're how old? 50. I was born in 56. He was born in 56. 58. Uh, any kind of details you can give me, huh? What color eyes you got? Green, well, kind of a turquoise blue. Turquoise blue? Yeah. <laughs> you want to give me some more? <laughs> <laughs> Call my little brother, man. <laughs> Do I? No, it, it's not. <laughs> no. No, it's uh, short, short hair. My guy's got skin cut hair. He's got a beard, well, a uh, goatee like. How old is that picture? <laughs> what kind of scar? Okay. All right. Let me uh, let me just verify. He says his brother's staying at the motel. Let me verify that. And if so, I'll just cut him loose. All right. Thanks. I guarantee I'm not. No you know the bad thing about it? What's that? You're matching up to him. <laughs> well, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, where are you staying at? That uh, Titusville or Titus Inn? Titus Inn, a little old. Little old. Uh, Where's that at? I don't even know the address. We just got into town about a week ago, and he dropped me off to jog. I always jog about 12 miles a day. Where'd he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there, some houses. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off, and, uh, He'll be back to the hotel in about probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Who do y'all work for? It's his, it's his, uh... I know, what's the name of the company? company? Phil's Roofing. Okay. Phil's Roofing. Did you go through a broad patch or something? Well, yeah, roofing. I always roof in shorts and cut my, uh, scratching up on, you know, the roofing. That's stuff. why your knees are all cut up? Yeah. Or y'all got pads? Huh? Y'all wear pads? They're too hot. They rub your, the pads rub your back of your legs and stuff. Um, where are you from? Huh? We're originally Dallas, Texas. I mean, that's where you y'all yeah, stay at. Out of. out of Dallas, Texas. Texas. What's your name again? Jimmy Jones. All right. Put yourself in my position. Well, yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I know. I'm not. Man. I'm not. I'm not you throwing you against them. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't believe what them guys do. Okay. I mean, they got years and years to think about how they're gonna do it. So let's sum up his story so far. His name is Robert Jones, but also Jimmy Jones. He's been jogging for 12 miles on a grueling hot day. He doesn't know where he is. He has cuts on his legs. He has no cell phone on him. His appearance matches the escapee's description. He's running from the direction of the prison. And this officer still doesn't think something seems fishy. Now, uh, when I crossed the tracks down there, I saw you running. I said, well, how lucky can I be? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no prison escapee. How far you got a jog to? Pineville. Hopefully he's on these tracks. Mm. I'll jog. I you jog gonna hit? Huh? Oh, you don't know where you're at? No, I'm at Ball. No, no, I'm talking about you don't know where you're at as far as where, how far away you are from Hymel? Well, I would say it's eight miles. Um, I'm trying to think where you're gonna hit out at. Um, well, Procter and Gamble. Right, Pineville, right? right. you're going to be right there at Procter and Gamble. Walmart and all that stuff. Yeah. Where you, so, where's y'all's motel at? Okay, let me think now. Because like I say, uh, fuel always drives. Okay, Walmart's right there. Go right at Walmart. And there's a road. Is it 165? Right. 165 that goes south. And we're about two blocks. Three blocks. Code four.
little old tiny hotel. I mean, it's clean, but it, and the, it's family owned. Little old tiny hotel. Yeah, you know, like a motel deal. You park up there, and there's uh, we we've got a camper, and we were trying to get into the camper place, but we didn't get into the camper place yet. There's a camper place between, I think, Ball. I mean, not Ball. Uh, Pineville, and what's the next town? Alexander? No, no, Alexander's the other way. You got Paul Powell, Tioga? I think that's Tioga. There's a little, uh, uh, you drive down the, the road down, and there's uh, a place for uh, campers and stuff. And that's where we usually stay, but we couldn't get in there. Um, I promise you, I'm not no damn Christmas escape. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> <laughs> you know that yourself. <laughs> yeah. You'd have done wrong by now. No. Well, if you can't verify, I mean, I'll be at the... Did you see anybody or anything? There's some kids up there playing. That's all you saw? Yeah, the kids. Was that you that blew your siren? Uh-uh. There's a siren, and then some kids were screaming, some little kids playing on the tracks. And, uh, the oh, guy... I probably told them to get off of them. Oh, did you? Well... Can I jog on them? Cause this is the I don't I care, okay, personally. That's the only way I know how to get back. Don't get run over by a train. There isn't any. That's why I picked this. I'm place. sure you can hear him way in advance. Yeah, but that's why these are rusted, right? For a train? They go down this road? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. See, I saw it rusted, and I thought, hell, I can jog on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they'll come. Not as much as our other track. Other There's track about every Thank hour. You, sir. I'm sorry to have to hold you up. But hey, no, I'm just doing my job, man. I know you are. But, uh, yeah, just be careful. You'll probably get stopped again, okay? okay. Don't, don't. Be alarmed by it. Border, border, border. Border line, yeah. Okay, and you'll be on till well, this shift. I'll be on until we find this on the gun. Well, my dad's an auxiliary detective. In Where Dallas, at? In Dallas. They oh, okay. The posse is what they call it. Yeah. He's 70 years old and he's been doing it since 63. Still he's enjoys it. Dallas, yeah. But um, if, uh, if somebody else stops me, I just have not call. I mean, they're going to go through the same spill okay. and everything well, with they you. They can call you. But, um, yeah, I mean, don't be alarmed by it. Don't be okay. upset about it. You know, they'll just stop you for a minute, check you out and everything. But if you do jog again in the future, carry some ID with you. See, I don't, in, I'm sorry. When I was in the military, we never carried our ID yeah. on base and stuff. So. On base is different. Yeah, I know. You know, they assure you if you can cross on, you, you got something. Yep. But out here, you're in civilian life, you know. Were you in the military? No, I wasn't. I'm retired Army. But, um. Yeah, in the future, if you're going to jog again. That way, I mean, if you get run over by a train, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to start second-guessing who he is, you can know. Can you write down your uh, phone number, your cell phone number, so I can have whoever calls you? Just call. You got a cell phone with you? No, hell no. I don't even have a cell phone or anything. Just call 911. That's all you got to do, and they'll get a hold to us. All right. That's hey, our quick line there. You have a good day now. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. All right. I will tell you this. The only way that somebody would have called you is if it was a military operation. They're f***ing doing this. Never mind. Okay, nobody, nobody was around. He, it was it an anonymous call? Is yeah. this one of my buddies? Okay, no. one of my buddies. No, it's, it's not. Police received a complaint about this woman after someone had apparently seen her exposing herself in public on a beach. The officers confront her about the situation where she then responded by seeming confused and unaware of what she had done wrong. She's asked what exactly she was doing on the beach, by which point she reluctantly admits to having an orgasm. Police ask her if they can look inside her bag and, lo and behold, it was something that vibrates but it wasn't her phone. Can we speak to you for a second? We'll get you over there. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and bring your stuff. Huh? Yep. 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 Alright. What's your name, ma'am? Chris. Chris. Do you have right. your ID on you? Chris. Yeah, can I ask what the problem is? Alright, so someone called us. We got multiple calls about you. What? About something pertaining on the beach. Were you what? supposed to be, were you doing something you weren't supposed to be doing? What? Like, what, what were you doing on the beach? Like, prior to coming here? Uh, prior to coming here? Were you at the beach at some point in time? Okay, I don't understand. There was nobody, I was just sitting on my town, nobody was around me. 
Okay, and you were over at the beach? Like, I was, I was near the water. Near the water? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, like I said, uh, someone called, and they saw you doing something you weren't supposed I didn't, to be doing. No, no that's, that's not true. I, I, okay, look, is this something that my phone should be off for or on off for? Hey, you can, whatever you want to do. It's your right. If you want to record this conversation, you can. But we are also recording, so, so you know. I, I, okay, can you, can, can you show? I mean, who, who did I offend? I don't understand. What did I do? What did I do? So apparently you're masturbating on the beach. Uh, who, who saw that? I mean, a couple of people. No, they Fans. didn't. That's, that's not true. You know, why would they call us that? Okay, because I was by myself. Okay. Um, now, I will tell you this. The only way that somebody would have called you is if... It was a military operation. They're f doing this. You mean military Never mind. Operation. Okay, so nobody, nobody was around. Who, it was it an anonymous call? Is yeah. this one of my buddies? Okay, no, one of my buddies. No, it's, it's not one of your buddies. It's, it's a family. Okay, look. Let me sh no, right, let me show you what I did. Okay. Okay. Is there anything would... in the bag? No. Because right, if I look through it, I mean, if you can open it and can I see the contents inside the bag? Yes. Okay. I don't know. I don't really understand what y'all are. We're, I, we're just here because someone called and we're this, very concerned. Yeah. Okay. This is really highly offensive to me. I, I got it. I got you. And that's why I'm trying to figure it's it a, out. It's my yeah. vibrator, but I just put it in my... I was sitting on the beach and I just... Just... Okay. okay do I need... Do I get a ticket? <laughs> so... So... You, you did have a vibrator. I, listen, I was sitting on the water like this and I just put it in there and it was covered up and I just had an orgasm. I'm sorry. I was stressed out. I, is I got that you. Okay, just hang tight for me. I'm sorry, nobody saw me. I was in the okay. water. Okay, so what? If so this is anonymous, call somebody. Okay. 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 I mean, I'm, yeah. People did see it. We didn't yeah. get a call for no reason. I yeah. swear to God, I was sitting in the water. I nobody you. saw it. I got you. Well, I mean, if nobody saw it, they wouldn't have called, right? Man, so. please don't do this to me. Are you serious? Put hand. You want to take primary? I'm, yeah, I wanted to take it since you talked. About okay, I got you. This is ridiculous. What is? What am I being arrested for? Indecent exposure. In, indecent exposure. No, but I didn't have any of my body Someone parts called. out. It doesn't matter. A family saw it. They had kids. It, what? Are you, there was called. nobody around me. So. Well, the comment section on this video is going to be interesting. To the men of culture watching, knowing you guys, I bet the comment section is going to look something like this scene from South Park. She's having sex with a boy. Nice. 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 Oh, but, but she's ugly, right? Well, no, not really. It's the kindergarten teacher, Miss Stevenson. The blonde? Yeah. Nice. Nothing in here that shouldn't be in here? No. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna throw this in here, okay? Yeah. This yours, ma'am? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a host and this is Jesus Christ. She said there's a vibrator in there. Through it. You're locking everything. 
Guys, quick mention, you can now become a special member of this channel by clicking on the join button below the video. Members receive a special badge beside their username in the comment section. The longer you're a member, the higher your rank will be, unlocking new badges. You'll also enable special perks like early access to new videos and videos exclusive only to members. So if you'd like to join the community, check it out by clicking on the join button below today's video. Well, I never thought I'd say the following sentence, but a naked caveman high on bath salts was spotted by a police officer in the woods. The officer tells the man that he wants to speak to him, but the average bath salts enjoyer demands that he too should take off all his clothes. Send us, you got one available. Go ahead and start me another. Yeah, this this guy's definitely gonna be combated. You need to calm down, okay? Yeah, that's a 10-4. Uh, just east of 2800. Hey, what's your name, man? Hey, come here. Come here. Walk down this way. I want to talk to you. You are a cop. I am a cop. Take off your clothes! No, I'm not taking off my clothes. What's going on, man? Why are you naked? Get on the ground! Come here. Come here. I need you to calm down, okay? We're gonna try to do this nicely, alright? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to put your hands on top of your head, okay? Hey, don't walk towards me. You will stand down! Don't walk towards me. Put your hands up. Ah! Turn away from me. Ah! Put your hands up. Ah! Turn away from me. I'm sorry. I mean, I... Put your hands up. Turn away from me. Put your hands up. Don't walk towards me. You will get tased. Alright, stay back. Hey, put your hands up, turn away from me. Put your hands up, turn away from me. After demanding for the officer to get on the ground, the two get into a scuffle and this is where the body cam starts to lag, but several other officers rushed in and they made the arrest, nobody was harmed and as for the suspect, police say the 25 year old man had a history of mental illness. Here's an unusual incident, police were called to a possible domestic violence situation where a husband wasn't happy with his wife after she had spanked their child for crying. The man admits to slapping her, not with his hand, but instead with a slice of pizza. It's unclear as to what type of pizza it was, but the woman clearly wasn't a fan of babies crying or pepperoni. No, I hit it with a pizza. A slice of pizza. A slice. Yes. It's like that. Then just do it out. Okay. Where did you make contact with her? Right in the face. No, not my hand. Any dogs or anything? Yeah, I got dogs. Where are they at? In the cages. Okay. What's what's that? You know what I mean? We're just arguing. Okay. Cool. Okay. Stay with my partner. Talk to him. Sure. Let me go talk to your wife, please. <clears throat> dogs are in the cages. You said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. What's the deal? What's going on? So we got here. Okay. The baby was fussing. Okay. Whatever. Normal. I went ahead and I pulled his pants down and I whooped him. Pulled his pants down literally and I whooped him right here. Okay. Uh, he's my kid. 
I can parent my son the way I want to parent. Is he your child and his child? He together? is or my child and his child. Yeah. Okay. What a, he out, got upset okay. and started going and started going and pointing his fingers at me, going and grabbed the pizza and went ahead and slapped me with the pizza. Okay. Slow your voice. Okay. He went ahead and slapped me with the pizza and doing anything to him. Okay. That's my son. All I was doing was parenting my son. Okay. Where did he hit you with the pizza? On my face. What's that on the back of your shirt? Are you, probably pizza. What's all that? It's probably pizza. Okay, so probably you were pizza. not like that? No, no, I was not like this. Let me load your chest real quick. Did he do anything else to you? Uh, no, because when he went to come at me, I kind of like threw myself on the floor. And um, we were just tossing on the floor, but it wasn't like he didn't like, hit me or anything. But he did grab, he did hit me with a pizza multiple times. Okay. Went ahead, finger in my face, like, you know, multiple times. I don't have the strength that he does, so I can't go ahead and I can't do anything this about happened, it. This happened inside? Yeah. Do you mind if I go inside with you to look around? Good. The officer takes a look inside where he can in fact confirm that a food fight had taken place. The officers at this point don't have a choice but to arrest the husband because on one hand it is just a slice of pizza, but apparently that's the only hand that matters because he f***ing slapped her with it. So I guess that means when your husband hits your eye with a bigger pizza pie, that's domestic violence. There's a joke there somewhere, I'll let you guys figure it out. Become a channel member, get your comments prioritised for as little as the cost of said pizza. Real quick, okay? Thank you, buddy. And because we're retaining you, we're going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay? But because you're in handcuffs, I have to read you your notes, okay? Do you understand English? Yep. Yeah. Well enough? Okay. I just want to make sure I'm, okay. just make sure I'm not going to cheat you out of anything. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. So you have the right time and time. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answering questions or making statements to understand the rights. Yes, what happened? I just threw it at it. I got mad, she was hitting on my baby. Good. That's it. I just threw it at it. I grabbed it from the box and pow! She got mad when I did that, she grabbed the whole box and just threw it. Did you hit her with the box? No, no, I hit it with a pizza. A slice of pizza. A slice? Yes. It's like that and just threw it at Okay. Where yeah. do you make contact with her? Right in the face. No, not my hand. I know, I, I know, know, but... It's a pizza. Oh, you get it hit it like on the side right there, that's I'll it. I'll give you a demonstration of severity of regular rights. If this is out of uniform, if I'm fighting with my brother, which would be domestic, and I take a shovel, I try to swing at him, and the shovel f flies out of my hand and magically hits him in his face, I still get charged. My action was to hit him with the shovel, just because the shovel came out of my wrist and fingers and hit him in the face because I physically didn't hold the shovel when I hit him, right. I did it still. Just like with the pizza, when you threw it at your wife's face. We have one occupant in the red SUV in the pot inside. So, unfortunately, by Florida law, we have to make an arrest. Okay, this is domestic violence. It's taken very seriously. I already see the evidence inside the house. There's pizza all over right. A naked man was charged with two counts of criminal mischief after he had fled the scene of a car crash and was stopped by police. At first, the man ignores the deputy and at one stage even tries opening the door to his vehicle. Once finally detained, he then proceeded to display erratic behavior, kicking the passenger side door so hard he had caused several pieces to fall off. Fifty nine to American ten twelve about the eighty nine hundred block. Come here. Come here. Yo. Hey. Fifty nine to America. I'm 10 12. He's walking southbound. He's not willing to stop for me. What's the deal, my man? Come over here. Right, That's fine. Come over here. 
Right here in front of my car. Yeah. What? What's? What's the deal, man? Uh, why, why are you naked? Uh, Were you in that accident up the road there? No. Sir. no? Hey, hey. Right. Stop. Why would you try to open up my driver's door? Are you kidding me, dude? All right. Go ahead and face me so I can talk to you, my man. Let me explain to you why you're in cuffs. Yeah. All right. You tried to open up the driver's door of a police car. Yes. That's not normal. OK? So something's going on with you to where you're doing stuff that's not normal, because normal people in their normal mind are not going to go and open up the front driver's door of a police car. Yeah. In addition to that, you are absolutely naked, my man. Another thing, not normal. So let me ask you something. Have you had any sort of illegal narcotics, any sort of prescription medication that you're under the influence of? No, sir. You haven't taken anything? No, sir. Because you're sweating like crazy. Yeah. Okay, well, I got Megs coming to check you out. Are you going to give him a hard time? What's that? Stop! Go ahead and start me another unit. Gotta have beef, gotta have spice, need a little excitement. Snap into a Slim Jim, oh yeah! Guys, if you're ever having a bad day, just remember that at least you weren't this store clerk who, after confronting a shoplifter, was attacked with multiple Slim Jims. Pop Pop, some crackhead tried to assault me with Slim Jims. No way. Yes! And then oh. tried to assault me with Slim Jims. Okay. Which I am being petty. Okay. She, I want to file charges for her throwing yeah. Slim Jims at me. She's right there. I shouldn't. Did, they, did the Slim Jims hit you? Yes, they okay. did. Where did they hit you? I don't know. On my my arm somewhere. They didn't hit me hard enough. Right. I have bruises. But no. yeah. Mm -hmm. It okay. hit me somewhere. Okay. That's when she threw the Slim Jims at me. Okay. Assaulted me with Slim Jims. Casey? Is it? Hey, yeah. Van's here. Come here real quick. Elizabeth, yes, sir. let her know she's being trespassed. You are being trespassed. Do not ever come back on this property. You will be arrested again. Sweet. Good, yes, ma'am. All right. Boom. Thank you, baby. Y'all yep. be safe. Thank you. At midnight, passengers arriving at the Miami International Airport got quite the surprise after bearing witness to a woman in a bikini who was walking around and suddenly started stripping naked. It's said she was walking past the area where you would usually pick up baggage, which to me, I find interesting because she doesn't look like she's had any kids. Police say that because she was put in for psychological evaluation, she wasn't given any charges. Nice. Nice! An ongoing problem with relationships today is that women tend to be believed more than men when they claim to be in an abusive relationship. There have been countless cases where men have had to appear in court and even serve time behind bars simply because their partners made up stories about being abused or even had fabricated evidence. In court, after agreeing to a plea deal, finally admitting on Tuesday the purported abduction that launched a nationwide search six years ago was all a hoax. Her lawyer says she will enter a plea next Monday guilty of counts of lying to a federal officer. He strenuously denied the allegations, but to no avail. It would take six long years and cost hundreds of thousands of dollars before the truth was finally revealed. That the woman Dan thought loved him wasn't a victim, but a pathological liar. Melinda Denham sent a letter to the judge stating that she lied when she told police that her ex-boyfriend, Shannon Hudson, her. And so he didn't you? No. Melinda Denham broke down in tears this morning after admitting that she lied when she swore before a grand jury about being raped last August. I know I made a mistake and I mean, I know I can't take it back. I just, I don't want to get in trouble no more. Her boyfriend, Shannon Hudson, was charged with burglary and two counts of but what happens when their male counterparts are able to provide proof that they were innocent all along? Today, we'll be looking at just some examples of when abusive partners had law enforcement involved, but it didn't go as they had planned. I don't want to get in trouble no more.
This psychotic woman was refusing to leave a man's house despite multiple requests being made. She started placing all the blame on the male, at which point the confrontation started getting physical after she began pushing him. Eventually police arrived to assess the situation, where she then refused to comply, making the situation even worse and getting herself arrested for multiple charges. Steve, did you and I not have the most amazing conversation yesterday with Steve's drinking? And I'm not trying to be mean. You keep I'm really sad. Things that don't I'm, no, this doesn't I'm not talking to you. I'm really sad that you are. And I'm not judging you. I really am, Steve. I really am. On my kids, I am. I'm really sad, okay? I'm not better than you. I have five or whatever years sober, or who cares? I don't even ask you. I know that you had more than the time I've known you. 11 years, 10. So if that's what you want to don't look at me. Don't look at this guy, Steve. I know the type of guy you are. I've dated you. I know the I know men. Okay? I know. There's a little bit of insecurity in there. I wish you guys would give us privacy, but you can't. Steve, I know you love my mother. I know you love my son. And you know what? I know you love me. In a weird <laughs> dead way. Right? You were there when Poppy died. You were there when Noni died. You were there when Dylan was born. Dacus was born. So if you want to do this to me, have at it, Steve, bro. I've had men throw me down the stairs, Steve. I've had men f me men up, Steve. You wanna f me up? You always say you do, but you never do. Because you because you're a good guy. Can you relax for a second? Relax. How much this is what you wanna do. Steve, if this is what you wanna do, you're a grown man. You are a grown man. That's what you want. This is what you want. Yeah, that's what I use. He's a credit card and your shit's already broken. Lock your shit up better, bro. I'm a felon, remember? Now listen, take care of my mother. Be nice to her. And I know you love Daxton. And I'll put it back to your mom. I'm the felon. I'm the felon. I know how you will be. Okay? But I'm not going to tell anybody. Because I'm not a rat. So, if that's how you want to treat me, you're doing a horrible job. Do better. Beat the shit out of me. Stop me to the... Now, go tell me you yelled at Steve. I didn't yell at Steve. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, baby, okay, stop. Who do you love? Are you a spectrum? Or disgusting? No, I'm not ready! I'm going to jail, Steve. Get the f off me! I'm in the car! A Cardinals cheerleader called police telling them that her boyfriend had pushed, attacked and even choked her. However, when police arrived, they noticed the woman had no marks on her, no bumps or bruises and no signs whatsoever that she had been attacked or strangled as she had claimed. After police spoke to the man in question, she got quite the shock when he told them that he had recorded evidence of what had actually taken place before they arrived. Ma'am, come on out here. Please get him out. Please get him out. Please get him out. He's right there. Please get him out. Where? In the house. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. He's in the living room. 74, I have the female out to the south or the back of the residence on the east yeah, side. No, I don't know. Just stay, stay right there. What is he? Does he have any weapons in there? I don't know. The only thing that he could get is in the kitchen. Come on out here. Do me a favor. Have a seat on the ground. Slow down, buddy. Just have a seat on the ground. No weapons on you or anything? Absolutely not, sir. Okay. 74 will be out the mill half, too, at the back. Okay, what's going on tonight? I have it on video. Okay, what happened tonight? She found a text message from another girl. She started kicking the shit out of me. I videotaped it. I have it on the tape, officer. Okay. I was asking her to stop. I was trying to leave. She was pulling out my hair. She's scratching me. She's punching me in my face. I have everything on tape. Okay. All right. A here and then we'll, <laughs> we'll get everything situated. How long have you guys been living together? Well, it's a long time. And officer, like, I found out she was talking to her ex, and I sent, like, a very harmless, harmless ex to a friend of mine. She, like, sent me a picture of a girl dog, and it was the dumbest thing in the world. And I go, are you trying to turn me on with the girl dog? And she went through my phone, 
And she found that text and she started yelling. She started yelling great. Started yelling everything. So I, I took my phone. I want you to watch this, officer, please. If you okay. would. Just, just. This is all from tonight. This is, this is all from the last five minutes. Officer, I was trying to leave. She kept pulling, she was pulling my hair and dragging me back in the house. I don't want her to get in trouble, but I, I did not touch her. You can see her punching me and taking me to stretch it. From what I've seen so far, it looks like she's the aggressor. But you'll just talk with this officer here. Okay. According to the police report, the boyfriend had scratches along his arms, chest, shoulders, and back. And thankfully, because of what he had shown to the officer on his phone, the woman who tried to have her partner arrested wound up being arrested herself. But it does make you think what would have happened to the boyfriend if he hadn't recorded the evidence. Please get him out. Please get him out. Please get him out. Please get him out. This attorney was arrested and charged with beating, choking, and kicking his wife. Serious criminal charges that would have ended his legal career. As an attorney, he knew that he had to prove a negative. In other words, he had to prove that something did not happen. So, using his cell phone, he was able to turn the tables on his wife and record her showing her true colors. I want you to know what's gonna happen. Okay. If you are not out tonight with all your I will call the Albany Police Department and say that you beat me and get an order of protection next week against you. Are you gonna make yeah. something up that I hit you? Yeah, without a doubt. Why would you do that, Kel? Why would I do that to get you? Thankfully, the recordings were more than enough to have him be cleared of all charges, but again, what would have happened to this man if he wasn't able to prove his innocence? This crazed mother wouldn't allow her baby daughter to spend time with her father. She stated to police that the father attacked and pushed her, when in reality, it was her that had struck and pushed the father. The former couple still lived together and despite being presented with an eviction notice, she refused to leave. This woman had numerous shoplifting charges on her record at places like Walmart, Dollar Tree, 7-Eleven, and Speedway to name a few. She's also known to work at strip clubs, she posts questionable adult content on social media. I could go on, but I think you guys get the picture. You can stay right there. <laughs> All right. So what's going on today? Ridiculousness. Okay. Well, what is there? Can you describe or tell me what happened here? He's been trying to evict me for a month now. I'm living here with Mike. Been staying here with Mike. I mean, we technically still live together, but I've been staying here. I like peace. Okay. <laughs> um, shut the door. Thank you. Where's he? He's just now. It's All just right. not working. So what happened today with over the kid? Uh... Uh, technically, it's his overnight. Technically, the custody thing is not even valid anymore. She went there last night mm -hmm. on my day. And I said, if you'll bring her back tonight, okay. Um, this is just getting to be ridiculous. Okay. And he's trying to let his, his mother is going to take care of my kid. Okay, sorry, not sorry. This is my effing kid. This is my responsibility. I take her to school every day. All right, she... so let me ask you this. Here's, if you want to, if you say the court order is not valid, valid whatever. It's not, she's uh, school age now. Okay. That's when she was uh, infant. Okay. Um, are you going to give your daughter to him today? No. No? No. Okay. All right. This is not your house. Annabella, let's go now. It's over now. 30 days. What are you teaching my kid, you idiot? Why are you calling me names Why and being disrespectful and me? acting and like this? No. You don't have to okay, talk to me about this in front of our child. No, no. no. no you're going to have to get your thing. Ask her, bring her her shoes. No. Why are you yelling at me? Get your kid together. 
together. Why so is I this can how leave? you act? Because you're a loser. All the time? And you served me with papers? Where are they, Spencer? I have a copy and a you video of me handing it you to you. No, that didn't mean anything. It does. It doesn't. You have to take me to court. So you received like you it, and you're acknowledging that you received it. That's not an eviction. You writing on a piece of paper is nothing. That's the process start of an eviction. That's, are you taking me to court, Winter? That's the process start of the eviction. When? You've it been expired. noticed. You were supposed to leave. <laughs> what do you mean expired? When did you serve me? It didn't expire. Huh? I'm still here. Yeah, why haven't you left? I don't have to. Why are you, you know, harassing me? Something. Why are you... Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. What's ridiculous is you could literally just get your get her, her stuff. I'm not doing anything you want. Annabella, come get your stuff so we can go. Okay. And I'm supposed to be abusive to you? I'm the one that's abusive? Oh, go ahead. Are you going to make a little video? I've been making a video. I've been making videos. I've been documenting all of it. Every day. Did she threaten you? Anything like that? Every day. What are the? What does she say? Um, gonna call your work. Gonna. You're not gonna see your kid. You're not gonna like anything and everything. So, so as for the threats for domestic would be like, let's say she says I'm gonna punch you in the fucking face, and if you reasonably believe that she will act violence upon you, that's when we can act on domestic. But as for threats of calling your work or anything like that, so I'm gonna f you up. Did, did she that say that today? As, that counts as it. Was it that was that said today? Yes. Today. She's supposed to be getting her stuff and getting out, but she's trying to say she's fleeing from an abusive relationship, but yet she's not leaving. Correct. So she's she she's setting this up to look like I'm the bad guy. Yes. She's no, I've dealt with like, her. I know. If we go back is. to court. And your friend was house sitting. Okay. Yeah. I was here a couple times with her. Um, unfortunately she like, I don't want to say she's playing games, but she knows she knows she's she allowed to be enough law. She watches yeah, enough TV. She knows she's allowed to be here, which until the 30 days are up in the eviction, she is allowed to be here. Right. That's the only shitty thing. Um, as for child custody, I would, I can give you a case number. I'll explain it. Is whose day is it today? Uh, well, it's Friday, so I should have her and she just took her and wouldn't let me have her. By this point, after making interactions with both the man and the woman, police now have a good idea of what this woman is really like. Video provided to police by the father clearly proved that she was in fact the aggressor. So police visit her again and place her under arrest for domestic violence. <laughs> Just wants to get out here and play. Uh, right. Go ahead and uh, place me in the back home. You're being placed under arrest for domestic violence, okay? Excuse me? You what did I do? Place your hands behind your back. Can, uh, can you shut the door at least for the docks? We'll take care of it. What is going on right now? What did I do? You don't like your fingers for me? Do you have anything on your person that I need to know about? Uh, can you take the car keys out of my pocket? Yeah. Is your house key in there? It's my grandma's. What did I do? He oh. put his hands on me and I didn't do that? He has, he has video recording of it all happening. Of what happening? Uh, he's being assaulted. I didn't, are you kidding me? I'm not gonna lie, can it, we lean back against something for a second before? Oh. My anxiety now is so... Breathe. <laughs> Trust me, I didn't... Emily Wilson, a 38-year-old woman, was arrested for waving around a 38 caliber handgun while having an argument with her husband. Eventually, she fired a shot, hitting a mattress in their bedroom. Her husband then called police, who placed her under arrest, where she was later charged with domestic violence. The ironic part, however, was that the t-shirt she was wearing in her mugshot says, Stop Domestic Violence. This isn't Photoshop, this is a genuine mugshot, and you just can't make this up. Emily Bolio, a 23-year-old woman who lied to police, saying that her ex-boyfriend had attacked her with a knife as well as a gun. Hours later she called detectives saying that her ex was inside her house and trying to kill her but she had managed to escape with the help of a friend. This led police to swarm in with canine units and even a helicopter. The ex-boyfriend wasn't found until the following day where he was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder but here is where Emily's lies completely backfire. Investigators later realized that because of surveillance video, cell phone data and other evidence it turns out that her ex-boyfriend not only was 
wasn't in the same city at the time she told police he was trying to kill her, he wasn't even in the same state. Police then found out she had even gone as far as to make fake Facebook profiles to post false sex crime allegations against him. The boyfriend was then released from custody and instead it was Emily who found herself arrested and in handcuffs, facing charges of stalking, perjury and reporting a false emergency. May 21st of last year, officers responded to a report of this woman who had not only physically assaulted her boyfriend, but had also vandalized his vehicle. Police arrive on the scene by which point they learn that she had ran away to avoid being arrested. Her boyfriend informs police that she had a gun with her and was known to be suicidal. She... We're not gonna chase her because if we chase her and she has a gun, yeah. we just amp it up and she's suicidal. Yeah, she's going under that. Cynthia, this is Sergeant Caron with the Carlsbad Police Department. We just want to help you out. We do not want to hurt you. We have no intentions to hurt you at all. We just want to get you medical care. Please come out and talk to us. Please come out with your hands up. Just show us that you're not armed or anything. We just want to help you out. Hey, can someone move to the east side? of the church, the northeast side, so we have no one approach her from back there. I don't want anyone to walk up on her. What you can't see from this angle is that despite the officer's attempts to have her come out with her hands up, she proceeds to stay in hiding, claiming that she's not coming out because she hasn't done anything wrong. Cynthia, can you come out from under that bus? We just want to help you out. We just want to get you medical attention, Cynthia. Hey, Hendren, if you can hear what she's saying, that relay that to me. She's saying that she doesn't want help. She didn't do anything wrong. 10 four. Cynthia, we know you didn't do anything wrong. You're not in any trouble at all. I just know you're hurt, and I want to make sure you're okay. I want to get you the medical care that you need. How you doing? Good. Are you related to her? No, I'm her boyfriend. You're her boyfriend. Do you yeah. know what's going on with her, man? Her vehicle. She was she broke up yesterday. Her on point. And I didn't want this to happen. That's the way I was moving. 10-9 that? Okay. I'm having negative 2-5 with the vehicle. No, sir, not right now. She, she, she might be armed. So she I might, just, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Has she had, ever done this before? Uh, not this severe. Okay. But she's showing signs of it. Other, uh, other than the breakup, was there any other issues or anything going on no. with her? No? Okay. She's just psychotic. Given the fact that they suspect she has a weapon, police at this point are still unsure whether or not things could turn ugly, so using her boyfriend's phone, they call her, saying anything they can to try and calm her down. You want him to call her? Just talk to him, maybe you just, just try to get through to her, see if she can just convince, you can convince her to... Does she have any relatives? Have I don't have my phone on me. Oh yeah, I do. You want me to call her? Yeah, try to call her. Yeah, She's you're not, in, not trouble. in trouble. You're not in trouble. You need to come out, okay? Here. Hey, Cynthia. You broke my heart. Hey, let me tell you something. This is Officer Sosa. I've been through what you're going through, okay? So let me tell you Look, something. Leave me alone. Uh -uh. You don't know what I'm going through. He's been lying to me for two years. Why he loves me. We were supposed to get back together again yesterday, and today I found out from somebody else that he's leaving. I know. Hey, Cynthia, I actually went through the same thing like two months ago, okay? I, I did. And you know what? I lost my family. I lost my kids, and it's hard. I get it, okay? It's very, very hard. Exactly. But you know what? At the end of the day, we have to be stronger than Look, what anything I don't want to happens. talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I'm talking to David. Get off the phone. Do you want to talk to him? <laughs> we just want to get you help, Cynthia. Okay? Oh I know you're hurting right now. Hey, so, so if that conversation isn't productive and helping them, let's cut it off. Hey, can you at least come out so the oh medics can check you? 
Let me ask her. I just want to make sure that she doesn't have the gun on her. Yeah. The person, you know. <laughs> yeah. that she doesn't have that gun. And it's in the vehicle. That was Hey, Cynthia, let me tell time. you. I just want to know, do you have a gun on you? Do you have a gun on you, Cynthia? We're just, we're going to wait it out and see if she'll just come out, man. I just don't want to, yeah, if won't. we go over there and try to get her, I don't want to push it. Yep. And it's one of those things she's. So I don't want to push yep. anything, you know, because we push something and then someone gets hurt. That's the last thing we need. Yep. I'd, rather, I'd rather her wait it out, just come out peacefully. Police observe her running out from under a bus. She demands that they don't follow her, and then she hides once again, but this time under a trailer. Do not follow me. I'm telling you guys. Don't follow me. I'm going to hit her with the taser if someone wants to cover me. Show me your hands. No. Back, up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up. Who has taser? I got a taser. Stop. Can't arrest me for this. Show me your hands. Why Come you out right now. Me? Just crawl towards us. Just crawl towards us. No, why are you trying to arrest me? Cynthia, crawl out here. Tell me my rights. Tell me my rights. Your right is to come out right now. No. You have to. Why are you trying to arrest me? Hey, get out from under my No. Get the out of here. The cops can tell the cops to leave. No, the cops are No. Get out. Leave. You need to get the Leave. Get out. Leave. Sir, get back inside. Be careful. be careful. She might be armed, but be careful. I'm not armed, you idiot. Hey, you need to come out. I'm We're going to drag you out. I'm not armed. Come Cynthia, out. Shut your mouth and come out with your arms up and empty. Excuse me? Uh-uh. Go get the dog. Oh, the dog's going to get Then you guys are arresting me? We're gonna drag you out. Come out now. You're arresting me for what? Why are you arresting me? You need to listen. Tell me why you're arresting me. Come on out. Tell me why you're arresting me. Now. Tell me why you're arresting me. Get out. Huh? How do I need help? You're about to get bit by the dog and it's gonna hurt. Look. It's gonna hurt real bad. Tell me why I'm arrested. Ario, criminal damage property, household member. Looks like she's rolling out. Just take it slow, guys. Come out now. I don't have any guns. Come out now. I don't have a gun yet. Come out. Drag her. Gotcha, oh bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, why are, you, why are you dragging me? Oh, my God. Really? Why am I being arrested? Ow! Get it? Why are you arresting me? Why, why do you have a thing on me? I don't have anything. Oh, my God. Okay, we're gonna help you up, okay? Can you f tell me why I'm being arrested? Oh my god! Really, Jamin? Did he tell you how he choked me too? That's fine. I'll put charges against him. I've got proof. You guys could have told me why you were arresting me instead of being silent. Jamin! Come here, you chicken. Can you play? No, take it easy. Hey, take it relax, easy. All right. Just take it easy. You're yanking on me. Oh, yeah. Throw your feet up there. I can walk. No, no, no. You're gonna go. No, you gotta go. Us, okay? You gotta go. He's pressing charges against me. Really? Unfortunately, ma'am, he doesn't have a choice. The state of New Mexico requires that charges be pressed because Why? it involves a family member. What family member? You have a personal relationship with him? He's a family member? In the state of New Mexico, he is. No, he isn't. Okay. Okay. It's because you're. a family member? It's because you're involved in a relationship with him. He's considered a family member in the state of New Mexico. Oh, yes. Bunch of BS. I don't believe that. Okay. 
I did not believe that. You guys are just mega charges. Put your hand up. A bunch of BS. Well, maybe there was a way to avoid any of this happening by, I don't know, maybe not assaulting your boyfriend because he wanted to leave you. Later that evening, she was cleared from the hospital without any injuries. She was then transported to jail and charged with battery against a household member, aggravated assault, resisting law enforcement, and criminal damage to property. That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like the video, and if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. But more importantly, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.